Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here for day five of the hot mod. Go away, computer. Sorry. My laptop's having a uh, SHIT fit. So we took some damage there, definitely. Now the, the light ammo truck. Which one's the big one? I think that's the big and that's the light one. So we get rid of the light ammo truck. Now the APCs took a lick. But we are. T I'm actually getting rid of the T44, so we're going to rearm everything. Uh, oh, they're not actually been placed on. Sorry, gents. So they're all rearmed. We've still got. A rifle squad and the rifle special weapons. Now, what we are going to go for, we need the T54A. That's pretty badass. Now, the difference between that and the T44 is going to be quite substantial. So, look, you've got the 85mm, 120mm arm, obviously sloped in certain areas, kind of vision DT. T55A, so you've got 205mm arm max. Holy Christ. It's a 100mm DT 10 gun. Penetration is 214. That was 139, so that's massive. It's also got a Dushka heavy machine gun and the SGMT. That's the newer light machine gun. So that's definitely look at the difference. That is a monster. That's definitely the kind of T series that you know for the modern era. That's a beast. T54, absolutely awesome. T55, obviously we know that some countries are still using that. <laughs> and we still have 2.5 points left. I think we're going to advance into this VDV combat squad. I do want some of them. I want some more elite infantry. We can afford a bit. So we'll get another rifle. Where's the rifle squads? Another rifle squad element. We've got them. We've still got the RPG team. And where's the VDV? Support soldiers. What do they actually bring? SK. I don't actually know what these do. <laughs> it's just like if you want a couple more men. Now we need a combat medic, obviously. And where's the VDV, guys? Um. Well, where have we gone? I've lost them. That's my own fault. Um. They are that VDB combat squad. So, well, just look at them. 300 health, 300 stamina. Definitely more elite. If you look at even the special reference squad, they've only got 225. Better combat skills for shooting and everything. They come with an RPG 7, is it? Yeah, RPGs. They've got AKMs. What LMG are they using? RPK lamp. Machine gun still. Not as good as the Spesnats, but these like just down from your Spesnats. I think it's spares those, yeah. So we're going to bring up some of them as well. So, right. So, our first elements will be rifle squads, RPG thing with their APCs. Following up with ammo, mortar. Good, you can get quite a lot in. And then, secondly, oh, we're going to need some T55As. We have to start bringing some heavy firepower in with us. And I think I can get another combat squad. Oh, easily, easily. They're up here somewhere. So yeah, we'll bring two combat squads, and two T-54As. So that's a hell of an assault unit. Definitely got some firepower there. And what we're going to do is go for... Ooh, I quite like the look of support. So we'll go for support. Oh, the airfield, I hate this map. But what we will do is we'll bring... Should we bring a cluster bomb strike? Yeah, why not? And they're right. I'll see you in the fight in a minute, guys. And here we are, guys, ready to assault... The American positions. They're dug in here and here at this airfield. And we're going to deploy everything we've got. So, we've got a VDV. Are they the combat squads? No, they stand there. Combat squads are. Oh, VDV squad. Here they are. So, we'll get a VDV guys over here. Are they VDV? Yes, they are. So, these are more special units. They'll wait a bit. And what we're going to do, we've got our infantry squads here. Setting them forward a bit. I'm just going to send them up in a kind of standard path. And what we'll do is we'll send armoured personnel to carry up with them. And a T 54 up on the road. Another T 54 is going to hold back. And what we'll do, we'll chuck them. There, yeah, we've got the armoured personnel to carry here. More to the hang around. Holy crap, they're already engaging. There's lots of forward elements here. The Americans, the Nazis. Oh my god, look at the firepower being unleashed. Just absolute demolished in the 50. Let's send our troops up and get that T-54A pushing up here. I'm actually going to take control. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, look at that 50 on top. That is beautiful. 100mm gun is when you start getting more modern heavy firepower. Oh my god. There's the tank. Well, hello there, sir. Doesn't carry that many rounds, though. So they've... They've got to the point where they kind of got bigger guns, but not enough room for all the rounds. 
so but it'll be enough I'm sure so the tanks looking pretty tough so look holy crud <laughs> look at the firepower when you used to like 45mm guns from World War 2 yeah it's a bit of a difference there and this is the special weapons squad they pushed I didn't even realise I moved them up that much. I've done that subconsciously so BDV squads get one just set up there on a personal account another T-54 is going to push up Russian armoured spearheads now pushing forward the infantry not seeing much to stop us APC moved down there to support not seeing any anti-tank much maybe there's a bit there oh my god just demolished we have got some M16 shrimps on well we've got 80 80 don't think he survived though looks like he's been cleared out let's put some rounds through the gas tanks there what's that this should there we go so, and they've just gone up like 4th of July beautiful this squad's going to push forward and this squad's also going to push up the flank we've got hit them from both sides the tank is pride and sport let's take the tower out and it's also killed some more guys so these guys can push up the sandbags these will push up from looks like we've cleared out all elements of the uh, command squad quite efficiently and there's oh my Christ that's a lot of enemy units there let's just kill them all and VDV squads can start pushing up as well and APC will follow them the mortar's not even needed anymore <laughs> we don't need mortars when we've got this much firepower these infantry squads will push them push well, push some of them up to there push two here up here We'll keep the tank just kind of around here. Oh, my personal carry there. Uh, they've still got not much on defence. It's kind of it's just been in a conquest with different stuff in it, I guess. So you're not expecting too much, but I'm sure there could be a few surprises with infantry and stuff. That tank can push down the main road. Special weapons squad. You you double time up there. Get him, get him uh, rearmed. Not seeing much to engage us at the moment. Yeah, I've got that like, cluster bomb strike, intend to use it, looks quite interesting. Lots of line of sight blockers up here, which is good. We can get the infantry squad on there. Oh, and personnel carrier can push through into the small settlement there. Not seeing much. Let's push him up. Send all you guys up. Send them up there. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming from. Oh, we're getting engaged now. He's got a battle rifle. Being a bit sneaky, they should deal with him. We also have enemies up front. Enemy engagements found. Firing cluster bombs. <coughs> Here comes the cluster bomb strike. Armed personnel carriers also keep pushing up. Cluster bombs should be coming in soon. Let's see how much damage it does to the infantry. <coughs> Takes a little bit of the way. These are these are special forces, aren't they? Team leader, standard infantry. Our National Guard, but look pretty cool actually. He's got an M16s though. Definitely. Here come the cluster bombs. Oh, got a bit of lag there. Oh, it kind of hit round it. I put it there, but it's destroyed all that. Not the most amazing attack, but it'll do. We'll push the APC up with the infantry. Get into a position. The APC is going to spearhead this one. No armor. Just APC, he's kind of pushing it. His armor, I guess, but why? APC is doing a ton of damage to him. Like this. Get down there, push up. BDB guys. Doing using their special abilities of being absolute badasses. To push up, just take on the enemies of Russia. Soviet Union. Making a good push here. Oh, we've been stuck on a rock. Got to go over the maneuvering. Not much left up here. Could be some AT hidden, so we'll click on the trigger as we push. Them. I think he had AT. And as we're there, we're just shredding absolutely everything. And that is them cleared out. Not much left. And that's it done. I think the enemy has been eliminated. Did we even lose anyone? We've lost zero guys on this one. The special force is too much for the enemy to deal with. 
they're gonna have to start bringing a bit of firepower out to stop us. But a good, good, um, good assault. Fifty cal there, making absolute huge bullet holes. Do these ones make the same from the um, PKT. Don't even make bullet holes. Pathetic. The big old fifty to do that. Oh, we've got some reinforcements coming, but too much for the tight. The uh, too much for the infantry to deal with. Let's get on that. Let's get on the uh, fifty cal. Now get on fifty. Oh, someone's over there. Reload that fifty caliber anti-aircraft MG. Oh, just snuck the tree line. Oh, there he is. There we go. He's gone. Oh, there's a lot of lot of infantry on the radar. There's some coming. Can't see it. Oh, there we go. God damn it. There we go. Switch to the third one. Reload it. And we got him. And there we go, guys. Easy, to, easy assault there. 41 kills, zero losses. The US need to step it up, need to start deploying the Rangers and Marines to give us a challenge. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one.